Hello everyone, welcome to Children's Liturgy with the Church of St. Mary of the Angels. Let's listen to the Gospel in which Jesus tells his disciples of the day of his return. A reading from Mark 13, verses 24 to 29. Jesus said to his disciples, One day I will return, and you will know that the time has come because of these signs. The sun will go dark. The moon will lose its brightness, stars will fall to earth, and even the sky will shake. Then the Son of God will appear in all his glory and send his angels to gather his people together from all over the world. Only my heavenly Father knows when all this will happen, so stay awake and be ready. When will we know of the day that Jesus speaks of? Jesus told his disciples that the sun will grow dark and that the moon will lose its brightness. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't the sun set every day? Doesn't the moon lose its brightness during the day? Perhaps these first two statements are clues from Jesus that the date of his return could be any time. Are we ready for his return? Are we ready right now? What does it mean to be ready? Have you ever observed your parents and how they behave when they know that they are going to have visitors to your home? They not only start to tidy and clean the house, but they also try to get you and your siblings to help out as well, isn't it? I know that's what happens in my home. Furthermore, I would start nagging my children that if they had formed good habits of being neat and tidy every day, we would always be ready to welcome guests to our home at any time. Good habits like putting away their books, stationery and toys instead of leaving them all over the house. Good habits like keeping their stacks of clothes into their wardrobes after I folded the clothes instead of leaving them on a sofa for days on end. Good habits like helping out with vacuuming the floors instead of relying on me to do it all the time. We all want to be able to present a neat and clean home to family and friends whenever anyone wants to drop by, no matter how last minute it is. We want to be prepared. How do we prepare ourselves for Jesus? Our heart and mind is like the house Jesus comes to visit. We need to keep our thoughts clean and kind and ensure that our actions reflect the good values that we know we should embody. We know what we should be doing every day in order to ensure that we know Christ, to show how we love Christ, and to do whatever we can to serve Christ. Yet many of us do not do it. Or rather, we do not do it all the time. We only do this when Jesus comes to visit. He comes to visit when we open the Bible to read it. He comes to visit when we watch and focus on what is being said during children's liturgy videos and during Mass. He comes to visit when we pray and talk to Him every day. Most of all, Jesus comes to visit us in our hearts when we are kind in our words and in our actions, when we do what Jesus would do, behave as He would like us to behave. We need to develop these good Jesus habits, habits that welcome Jesus into our hearts. So it seems that at the moment, Jesus only visits us occasionally? But really, Jesus is right outside the door and he only comes in when we invite him in with our good Jesus habits. For now, Jesus will make do with the occasional visit. But what he really wants is to be in our hearts for always. Jesus wants us to constantly open that door and invite him into our hearts. He wants to be in our hearts and minds all the time. Is your heart warm with love and kindness for others? 
Is it flushed with memories of the actions you have taken to help the people around you? Is your heart ready to be a permanent home for Jesus? For that is where he really longs to be. Do you want to constantly make your heart and mind a welcoming place for Jesus? Your thoughts, words and actions reflect this. So please be mindful about what you think or do all the time. Do not think mean thoughts and make sarcastic remarks. Instead, think through what you are about to say and be kind in your choice of words and actions. Do not lie to your parents and teachers and avoid doing what you know you should be doing. Instead, choose to be honest to people around you and choose to be honest to yourself. You know that what your parents and teachers ask you to do is usually exactly what is good for you. So, as tough or as tedious or as boring as it may be, just do what you gotta do. Are there things which you have done but do not want anyone knowing about because you know what you did was wrong? Are you proud of who you really are deep inside you? Or is it only the outside where everyone sees that you care about? Deep inside you, you know what it is Jesus would prefer you do. Just do it. Jesus sees all and he knows everything. He knows that we are all sinners, that we are not perfect, and yet he loves us. Jesus sends us messages delivered to us via his prophets. Priests, our parents and elders, teachers and friends, anyone who reminds us to do what we know we should do. Prepare our hearts for having Jesus in it all the time. Every moment we have is a second chance given to us. Every single day we have is a gift from God. It is a gift of time. Time for us to get ourselves ready. The time needed to prepare our hearts to be a warm and welcoming place for Jesus. We should start working on our good Jesus habits today. We must practice and get used to speaking kindly and in a considerate manner instead of making mean jokes and sarcastic remarks. We must do things we know we should do instead of only doing things that we want to do. We know we should befriend the unpopular girl, forgive the rude boy, be patient with our siblings, be respectful to our parents and elders. We know that we should pray every day, for to pray every day is to talk to Jesus every day. We need to do this to get to know Jesus well, so that we are always able to talk to him like the good friend he is to us. We know we should do whatever it takes to know Christ, love Christ and serve Christ. We know all this, but what do we choose to do? What do you choose to do? The choice is yours. Starting today, I choose to consciously form good Jesus habits to prepare my heart for Jesus to dwell in all the time. I pray that that would be your choice too.